Vern, can you just sum up that performance from your side tonight? Uh, uh, I, we're really happy with the effort. Um, really put themselves around the park and never gave up. And there's something, it's a performance that we can build on uh, because it showed grit, determination, guts, physicality, um, and a few smarts. But then we, we probably, when we look at how much we gave the All Blacks, if we took away a bit of that, if we got the exit properly in the first half, and if we um, didn't give away a couple of penalties we could have avoided, um, I, I think we can make, we can progress rapidly as soon as we look at that. So the ingredients are there. I mean, brave performance. The, this, this guy was outstanding. Um, everybody was with him. And um, you, can, you, you can build something from that. At 31-23, did you, were you beginning to think you are a real chance of winning the test? Yeah, we, we need to score again. We needed to validate those, those parts of the game where we were doing well. And when you score, you need to be able to get back into your half and then kick out and get down the other end again. And probably a couple of times we didn't uh, do as well that as well as we would like to have. And um, we, but we, you know, I think it was pretty clear for everybody to see it was we competed well at the breakdown. I think we made up for a lot of our errors with with the bravery and and some of the technique and that we had, we had in that area. And if we can keep doing that and polish up some other areas. Uh, will be, I think, will be a handful. Can you just talk about the man to your right, your captain? It was a fairly inspirational sort of performance. Yeah, right from um, the Semi Radra, who was captain uh, back in November, obviously with the sevens, and Levani was was a natural leader, and you you can see why because he leads by example and speaks very well. So as soon as he was named early on in the piece, he's done a great job in federating. Uh, the team. We've got new caps out there today and it's great to have an old head like this leading with it by example and and you know, reassuring those those, those players. Um, I, I think if you coming back to the performance, as soon as we lost our half back we lost a little bit of shape as well. I think it's fair to say and that was you know it was unfortunate we had a full back then had to go into half back and I think if we'd been able to maintain fast ball and vary those points of attack by having a quick release around the ruck, you know we, we could have probably you know Scored a few more points. Just last one from me. Uh, Levani, is that a performance you look back with a lot of pride given what's happening in your home country and everything else going on at the moment? Uh, yeah, I've been proud of the boys uh, for their job today. Yeah, we're still fighting until the end. Uh, we, so, uh, we have so many things to improve uh, as a players to come back next week. Boone, you, um, you mentioned the success you had at the breakdown and other teams have had success there as well in stifling and, and rattling the All Blacks when they slow the ball and, and target that area. Was it, was it always the plan to, to target that area? I think these guys do it naturally uh, because they're so physical. They, they certainly don't shy away from that, that aspect of the game. And what was really encouraging was that even though we're tired towards the end of the, the, the game, they still kept their heads up, they still tried. And if we'd scored a try at the end, it would have been, you know, we went far away. It would have been a moral victory for us. Um, so not particularly targeting those areas, uh, but we managed to get some some reward for it. And we just need to tidy up, like I say, other other parts of the game. Um, do you get those players out of Australia? Um, what, what's the situation? We have to there? buy them New Zealand passports. So I'm not sure how we're going to do that, but we're scouring the country looking for, uh, for halfbacks, so... Um, if the All Blacks want to lend us one for next week, we'll, we'll take Then, um, now obviously you had a, a rough build-up with um, managed isolation and, and everything. How much did that take out of the gas tank for those last 20 minutes? Well, I think just the travel from Europe. And, I mean, you, you could see at the end that we were we were getting tired. Um, a, few, a few gaps opened up. and So I, I, I don't know. It's something we'll look at. Uh, we can perhaps get fitter. We can, you know, and it's near the end of the season for a lot of these players that are based in Europe, and there's a fatigue um, element with regard to that. And you know, it's just something we need to look at and and, and work on. Vern, did, did you see much of that performance coming? No, because um, like the Barney, you've got a lot of players who play in high quality competitions in Europe for top sides, so. Although New Zealanders might know them, they play a lot of high quality rugby. So were you confident that that first star was in this side? I knew they were up for it. Um, 
you have to when you play the All Blacks, and they haven't played them for 10 years, so it's a great reference point to, to measure yourself against the best. Uh, and, and I think probably the culture of these boys, they're such a strong culture and they care for each other, and, and having a challenge like the All Blacks in front of them, federated, you know, what they already have naturally, but made it stronger. So from, from, a, from that point of view, we knew they were going to fight right to the end. Uh, that wasn't. We, they didn't disappoint us. And then there's just parts of the strategic parts of the game that we need to sort out. Some handling parts of the game we need to sort out. But the fact that we're together and put that effort in is, is promising. And, and yeah, they are. They are good players. Where, where do you think this team can go to? You know, I mean, we're seeing tonight if they, if they get regular competition against the, the so-called bigger nations, you know, the, the possibilities really are endless, aren't they? Yeah, what you're saying is right. If, if you can get those games. More often, you can you get to measure yourself against the best teams more often. You'll improve, and that type of competition does improve them. So, I think they've shown probably enough in this game to be to be offered more opportunities to play those teams. I hope so. A great challenge that can develop the 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 Fijian talent it means the sevens teams going well. They've got the Olympics coming up. There's some talent in the island that will need exposure. There's a lot of things to develop to get Fijian rugby up there. But they've got this um, they're amazing explosive athletes. And, and it's a joy to watch them play. When you see them uh, throwing themselves around the paddock, um, it's, you know, to see them more often against good teams would be great. Just one last one for me. We know about the skill of the Fijians, but when you see a tackle like the Rani put on, Damien McKenzie, it's just a complete momentum shift. It's so important at, at the test level to have players be able to do that. Yeah, they, they can, he can stop a game. And there's not many players in the world that, are, that can do that stop a game by himself and restart it in, in his team's favour. So those, those, are, those are qualities that, you know, they're very good at that spot tackling. They're very good, you know, our, our defence, defensive work was good. It's improving system-wise, but such great individuals at reading plays and, and making those shots. And, and generally, you know, people start standing a metre deeper and start worrying about the pass to throwing. Vern, you've got three players struck in, stuck in Australia. You had one or two trainings as a full team. Guys getting out of MIQ on Wednesday and you've had your best result ever against an All Blacks side. That's a bit of a statement in itself, is it not? Yeah, no, right. Um, yeah, we're, not, we're not satisfied with it. We want to get better. But it was, it was a good start. Yeah, we had boys out on Wednesday. Um, so, yeah, it's, like I say, I think with the spirit of the team, with the leadership that's shown within it, you know, we can... Hopefully we can turn it around and become better and put in a better performance next week as well. And how excited are you for a full test week of preparation ahead of game two? I've looked at some of the boys. It was um, it was a tough, fast game tonight on a dry track, so we'll be looking at recovering and, and seeing there's a couple of battered bodies out there as well. So we'll be looking, and but, but as you say, next weekend we've got a, another big one. Vern, can you just give us, or maybe you might be able to as well, a bit of an understanding of just what rugby means to Fiji and having a fixture like this? <clears throat> um, game tonight, it's, for the boys, it's been a lot. Because uh, it's been, uh, you know, there's a couple of new players. We try to get together as a group. Uh, we try to build up our, our uh, uh, skills and everything so we can get better for the next one. So, yeah, we try to improve our skills like a team. Obviously, this afternoon we learned that you wouldn't be wearing the shirts with the vaccination vaccination message across the front. Can you just tell us the reasoning for that? Yeah, that's um, that's a um, it's a really complex, really really complex uh, the question, and, and the answer is complex as well. And we haven't really got the you know the, the full answer other than that. It was sprung on the on the players quite late in the piece in the piece, and not um, a lot of exchange and consultation. And as you can imagine, it's um, it's it's a delicate subject for some. And so it was probably better to just have a clean jersey at this stage, and then spend some time on how best we want to communicate on on this matter, and how comfortable the players and everybody are in communicating with regard to that. Were you disappointed that this had to happen, I guess, on game day? And now there's going to be quite a lot of controversy surrounding it. I mean, polarising opinions. 
Um, there'll be questions over, over whether the team is unified, what's going to happen with sponsors going forward. Are you kind of frustrated that this has happened? Um, I think the team showed solidarity and, and strength in what they did with, with the decision to, to postpone a, uh, a real communication on it. And the way they played in, in, on the game, I think, will inspire people in Fiji to, you know, to play rugby and, and these guys I thought were role models today so all just um, like I say complex we need to really um, work it out because there's a there's a lot it's not just sport we're talking about now and um, we'll just take time and try and communicate better in the future. Yeah and just lastly from me I mean I guess for yourself and the, the staff supporting these players um, talk us through the sacrifices they're making at the moment to be so far away from home with this situation, situation worsening day by day. Yeah, I think COVID's, um, it's, for everybody, COVID's, COVID's hard. Um, it's changed the way everybody lives um, all over the world. Uh, these guys are, that, that are based in Europe are living with it every day, and Fiji's now um, getting struck with it, and it's, it's gone through a lot of countries. So um, <clears throat> there's a lot of, it's a sensitive issue, uh, and um, everybody is aware of what's going on. And, and these guys here, have, uh, they just want to play rugby, and play well. They just want to be able to show that um, they're representing their country and, and their people by putting in you know brave displays on the paddock. Vern, you touched earlier about you know how, how a team like Fiji only grows from from playing the All Blacks. This is Fiji's greatest ever result against the All Blacks. Do you think you know that sort of performance will put some powers on B in terms of decision making about Fiji playing a team like the All Blacks far more often in the future? I, I, look, I don't know, um, really. I know World Rugby wants to help Tier 2 nations perform better and, and improve their rugby. So if, if more opportunities can be given, that'll be great. We'll take them, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take that. But it, it is what it is, and if the next game's uh, against the All Blacks, that's great. If it's, if it's against Georgia, if we played in November or anybody else, we really just focus on what we're doing and... Um, and try and do that as best as possible. You know what this team is capable of, though. So, I mean, in your opinion, is it something you think they deserve? I, I don't know if we can say we deserve anything. Deserving, I, I, I think um, that's, once again, another, another complex issue on calendar and COVID, which is affecting international rugby at the moment. So we'll be pleased if, if they feel that, that a fixture uh, against England next year in November is a, a good fixture to have. I think there's a fixture against Wales those types of games will help us and we're obviously like everybody else looking at World Cup 2023 looking at a program that gets us uh, the games that we need um, to, to, to be able to perform in that that's the that's the, that's the ultimate objective really so as I, I know World Rugby is struggling to get fixtures in place because of COVID so we'll just battle on and do the best we can Obviously you you're known for being the flying Fijians but how much of an influence has Jason Ryan had on that, that rolling mall? He likes, he likes them going to dark places where they can't see and can't breathe, and he, he takes them there quite often. And it's, I mean, it's, it's, it adds another um, dimension to the game. And, and you know, we'll, we'll just keep working away at it. Uh, Gibbo's doing a great job. The boys are all doing a great job, and they're, they're trying to... Um, but we're enjoying it, you know, as coaches, enjoying the environment. So we just keep trying to get better.